Hi everyone, this is Dr. Palacios here. And in today's video, what I want to do is guide you through a meditation for your migraine headache. But actually this could also apply to any form of pain that is being manifested, obviously without a known origin that you experience often. So the first thing we want to do is to find yourself a comfortable spot. If you're in pain at this point, please find yourself in your room, go to your room, lay down, and find yourself in a very comfortable position. You may fall asleep during this session and that might help. But if, it, if you don't and you do follow through this, we might have a better outcome to the current pain. Now, before I start the meditation, I just want to go over a few things regarding the pain itself. So today I want to just briefly talk about pain and suffering. Those are actually two different experiences. Pain is the body's response to whatever is going on. Could it be through an injury or through dysfunctions that are going on in the body at a certain time? And in the case of migraines, they, can to, they tend to happen through various external factors that we have no control over. Now, suffering is our reaction, our mindset to the pain. If we have a mindset, that the pain is there as a form of punishment or as a form of blame from actions that we may or may not have done, then the pain may actually be worse. And I wanna take out the suffering component with this meditation. And I just hope you understand that the pain you're going through now is no in any way a form of punishment or wrongdoing that you may have done in the past or now. So you may feel angry, you may feel even hatred to this position that you're in. And obviously you could direct the hatred outside and blame it on the weather, blame it on maybe the stress, the outside things that we don't have much control of. But typically we tend to bring that blame and anger and sometimes hatred towards our own heart and mind by not doing or not expecting things to be a certain way. And it's important to understand that it's the expectation of things to be different is going to cause more suffering in our pain and our experiences. So I hope you understand the insight that suffering can be removed and the pain being by itself is all you need to be in the present moment. Now, the following meditation comes from the Tibetan understanding of light being a healer. And I'm not going to talk about it much because it's better to experience it ourselves. So let's get started. And this is what we're going to do. So first, you can keep your eyes closed in a comfortable position. And I want you to focus on your breathing as it goes in 
and out. One more time. And out. In. And out. In. Out. We're going to do one more. In. And out. Again, you may breathe through your nostrils, exhale through your mouth. But if the pain is worsened by breathing through the nose, which in some cases it can happen, then I will encourage you to just breathe through the mouth in and out. So as you feel a little bit more relaxed, I want you to put your hands like this and bring them down to the belly area. As if you're grabbing your belly in a very gentle position. And as you breathe, you will notice the abdominal breathing will start pushing a little bit on your hands. So as you're gently touching the belly, I want you to imagine inside of that belly a dark blue light. If it helps, you can take a peek at the background and you'll see the bright dark blue light. Now this blue light is not going to stay still because the nature of our minds require it to move. But instead of moving it around like a bouncing ball, like we would do with our normal thoughts, we're going to change it by using our breath. So as you breathe in, this little light, dark blue light inside of your belly is going to expand. It's going to become a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger as you breathe in. A little bigger, a little bigger, and then as you exhale, it begins to shrink. So the inhale makes it big, the exhale makes it small. So breathe in, make it big. Cell, make it small. In and out. Big and small. So as you continue breathing, automatically, keep your mind in that light, just in the belly button, that area. Try to shut down your senses, especially your sight. As you close your eyes, the only sight that you should have is the darkness in front of you and the mental image of this dark blue light. If you are 
listening to me. Then slowly focus on your breathing and make my voice secondary. Don't pay too much attention to it. To it. Bring your focus more into this blue light and your breath. You will notice that your smell might not be focused as much. Your taste buds may be numb or not necessarily do too much. And finally, the tactile sense or the touch is going to subside as your focus intensifies on this dark blue light. Now, some of you may have experienced what this dark blue light can do for you. And if you did, then your suffering may have subsided. The pain could still be there. But without the guilt, without the negative mindset, the pain is only the pain. And it will subside sooner or later. Notice how your body starts to feel more relaxed, but also in a content way. Your thoughts can be out of control because of your pain and suffering, but as you bring this dark blue light into your mind, your mind is also going to subside and your thoughts will pass like clouds in the sky. So let's continue breathing. and move in this light. So let's do our last 10 breaths. It's one. Two, the light gets small. Three, I feel more calm. Four. Five, halfway there. Six, the dark blue light is still with me. Seven. 
seven. Eight. Nine. My mind is subsided. And 10. My body is with me. My pain may still be with me, but my suffering, my mindset to that pain has changed. Please feel free to replay this if it was helpful. And please let me know in the comments if you would like to see other forms of meditation. Or simply express your experiences with this practice. Thank you so much. And may your pain go away as soon as possible.